Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MicroProfile Fault Tolerance with Quarkus. Let's start. What is MicroProfile Fault Tolerance? It's a MicroProfile specification that allows us to build up our microservice architecture to be resilient and fault tolerance by design. In my previous video, Quarkus MicroProfile REST Client I have implemented a simple application that used the TV Maze API to fetch the information about a specific TV series and the list of episodes. I'm going to use this project in order to show you how to enable the microprofile fault tolerance. The first thing to do is to import the Quarkus dependencies. So go inside the pomixml. You can see here, I already have the Quarkus REST client. And after that, let's copy the dependency, paste it here, and then just change here from Quarkus REST client to Quarkus Smorai Fall Tolerance. Very good. Let's save it. Let's import the dependencies. Good. Now let's go inside the TV series resource. Let's open the terminal and run the project in development mode. And when compile Quarkus dev. Very good. Now the application is up and running and listening on port 8080. And you can see here all the dependencies like Smorai Open API, REST client, REST client Jackson, and Smorai fault tolerance. Very good. Now let's open the browser and type localhost 8080 slash tv series and then put the title title like game of thrones and you can see here the list of all episodes of game of thrones so what i've done here is just contact the tv maze to fetch the information related to game of thrones and, and then I use the ID of the TV series to fetch the list of episodes. Very good. But what happens if, for example, the API of TV Maze are down? Well, let's try it. How? Let's just change the path instead of slash shows, slash shows www, for example. So in this case, the call will be http api tvmaze.com slash single search slash shows www and it doesn't exist so let's see what's happened now see not found with the error message and i can also expect and you can see from the network from the console 404 not found so it's not good by design because we want our microservice and of course our microservice architecture to be resilient and fault tolerance by design. To avoid this behavior, we can use the fault tolerance. So go inside the TV series resource and here we need to write a method with the same signature of the get method. So let me just copy the get method. Let me paste it here. This one will be private. The name I will call you fallback get. I'm going to remove just the query param annotation. I'm going to remove everything here. And this method will return a response with the status code OK with an empty array list. Good. Then inside the method get, we need to use the annotation fall back from macro profile fault tolerance. Inside the annotation, we need to specify the fallback method. So fallback method equal the name of my our method fallback get. So what's happened here when we contact the TV Maze API? If we don't receive any response from the external service, we fall back to this method. So let's see in action. First, let me just remove the www. Try it again. 
so now it is working okay and then let's try with www and see what happened and now we manage to have an empty list without uh, the error message that the system shows us uh, previously of course we can uh, do wherever we want inside the tv series resource instead of sending an array list we can send uh, a list with a default uh, uh, tv series for example we can do wherever we want here the, the point is that in case of failure we fall back to this method let's try to not break proxy to get the tv series but to break the other just that one to fetch the list of episodes so let me go back into tv series i'm going to remove this then i'm going to open the episode proxy and here i'm going to put like www so again let me try it again and here you can see the same behavior so no matter what we managed to fall back to have an empty array list let's refactor a little bit so instead of having just one simple method fallback let me add two different fallback for the proxy and episode proxy a private um, tv series get tv series okay this one will return a proxy dot get with the title so here will be string title let's use it here very good title and then this one i will put it here with uh, fallback get tv series okay good and then this one will be what so tv series tv series equal new tv series and then tv series dot let's set the ed1 and then let's return this tv series uh, this one of course will be a tv series and not any more response very good so in case of fallback we send back a default tv series okay so let's try let me go inside here let's click here and put www okay and then try it so it's not working because we need to declare this is important the method where we put the annotation not private but public let's try it again very good so it's working i really don't know which is the tv series with the id one but in any case we fetch the list of episodes of our tv our, our default tv series very good let's now put back here shows this one www for the episode and try it again we receive a message because in this case we have a fallback for the tv series but we don't have a fallback for the list of episodes so let's do the same public get episodes okay this one will be a list of episode very good and then here will be return what episode proxy okay long id and here will be id oops very good and then this one will be get okay the tv series dot get id and then let's write the fallback function i'm going to put here so private 
list episode fall back get episode okay and this one in this case i will return an empty array list okay and then annotation notation fallback fallback method equal fallback get episode episodes let's try so inside the tv series we have the right url inside the episode let's try with a good one okay we have some issue here let's check ah yes of course long id because we have the same signature let's try it again very good so in this case is working we received a list of episodes of Game of Thrones because the URL is uh, correct. Let's try to put here www. Let's try it again. And then we receive an empty array list. Of course, if we put uh, here episodes and we put here uh, www, what we receive? we received the list of episodes of the TV series with ID 1. In this case, we wrote a resilient and a fault tolerance uh, get method covering the fallback for the get TV series and the fallback for the get episodes. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can find the resource code of this uh, video inside my GitHub repository, Macro Profile Fault Tolerance. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you have any questions or doubts, don't hesitate to contact me. See you in the next video about macro profile fault tolerance part 2. Bye.